Okay guys, so first I'm just going to be going in with Cetaphil. It is the best drugstore cleanser I have yet to come across. And just put it on my Clarisonic. Any face brush will work though. And just pretty much put it all over my face in circular motions like everyone says. And yep, yeah, that's pretty much all I do for cleanser. <music> Okay, so now on to one of my favorite parts. It is the scrub. I use the St. Ives Blemish Control Apricot Scrub. And I just put a little bit on my finger, not a whole lot, and just put it all over my face. This will just kind of exfoliate, get rid of any dry skin, and it is so, so, so awesome. But I only use it about two or three times a week for the simple reason that I do not want to make my skin raw because I use it so often. go ahead and rinse off my skin I'm just gonna go ahead and pat it dry with a towel because I do not want a wet face for this next step all right so now on to the face mask I just use the L'Oreal pure clay mask in the black one and I basically only do this like about two times a week and I just get some on my finger make little dots all over my face and then go ahead and rub it in and my personal favorite part about this mask guys is that when it dries there's little dots on the mask where, so you can kind of see where your pores are so you know that it's working it's awesome <music> All right, so now that the mask is on, we are just gonna go ahead and wait about 10 minutes and then we are done. And then we're just gonna go ahead and rinse it off. It takes me so long to rinse it off because it's so stubborn on the skin. Most of the time I end up rinsing it off in the shower, but for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna wash it in the sink. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going in with my Garnier Moisture Rescue moisturizer and I get a quite a bit of it, I'm not going to lie. I'm obsessed with moisturizer and I just put it all over my face and make sure to rub it down onto my neck and this is really embarrassing because I still have some of the face mask on my neck, but let's just pretend it's not there. <laughs> Okay, now this last step is not one that I normally do, but right now I'm coming off of a breakout, and so I have kind of little wounds and scabs all over my face. So I'm just going in with some Neosporin and kind of dotting it over any blemish that was there that is now a scab. And I'm telling you guys, this helps the skin heal so much faster. It's awesome. Okay guys, so that's going to be it for my skincare routine. I really hope you guys liked it and found it helpful. As always, do not forget to subscribe, like, comment down below, and of course follow my social medias to kind of stay up to date with me, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!